All right, thank you very much, Joe, and happy Easter. We are off to a gorgeous Easter Sunday start. Sunrise coming up in a few minutes, and we're already seeing plenty of daylight out there. Let's show you what's happening with our three key things. Similar to yesterday afternoon, there will be an elevated fire risk because of the dry conditions and a few of those wind gusts. Overall, it's a milder Easter afternoon, I think a little bit milder than what we saw for Saturday afternoon. And we are looking at a quiet week. In fact, I wanted to kind of show you the general weather pattern over the next few days. It's kind of interesting. This is at around 5 p.m. Notice the center of low pressure is offshore. So that's a good thing. We don't have any storms in our forecast for today as high pressure generally maintains control. But notice, instead of the storm just moving away as sometimes happens around here, we essentially have a traffic jam in the atmosphere. And so instead of moving away, it actually starts to drift a little bit back towards us by the time we go into Monday night and and Tuesday. At this point, it only looks like we're going to get some clouds because of the situation. But notice Tuesday morning, the uh, storm is still kind of hanging around offshore. Potentially by the middle of the week, it starts to drift away a little bit more as we get some of these milder temperatures moving in. But that's sort of the uh, weather pattern we're in right now. We have storms kind of stuck in a traffic jam in the jet stream, but fortunately the storm is not stuck right over the top of us. It's off to the north and east of us out in the Atlantic. All right, looking at our conditions here in Providence, where we are off to a chilly start. Gorgeous view here in Newport with the sun getting ready to come up and our temperatures still sitting in the low 30s. 31 in Providence, 22 in Taunton, 25 New Bedford, 31 Newport, 25 Westerly, 36 for Block Island. And our breezes are calm in Smithfield. We're calm in Providence, calm in Newport. Calm, kind of a consistent reading here on the board right now. A six miles an hour breeze from the northwest in Block Island. It will be similar to yesterday in that it starts calm and then those breezes gradually start to pick up a bit as we go throughout the day. Not that it's going to be all that windy, but some gusts of 15 to 20 miles an hour are possible. So again, there's that center of low pressure offshore, high pressure generally maintaining that flow of wind from the west and northwest, and that should keep in plenty of sunshine for today. So along the south coast, temperatures mid to upper 50s. Wouldn't be surprised if some of those locations get close to 60, and there may be a little bit of a drop off there in the afternoon back into the mid 50s. 55 Narragansett, Wickford at 56 degrees. Northern Rhode Island temperatures mid 50s to around 60 today. 58 in Johnston, 56 Situate, 58 West Wark, 59 in Providence. Again, a few low 60s are possible. And mostly sunny skies here in eastern Massachusetts. Temperatures around 59 or 60 in Attleboro. 59 Seacock, mid 50s from Fall River into Freetown. Westport, Dartmouth, and New Bedford into the upper 50s. Now tonight it gets cool, but not as cool as the past several nights. Notice the trend here. 10 p.m. down to 47 degrees and then mid 40s overnight. Now eventually into early Monday morning, Providence likely bottoms out at around 40 and some upper 30s just outside of Providence. So yes, it cools down, just not quite as cool as the temperatures we're seeing right now. In the seven day, it's pretty quiet. Notice on Monday 58 and then a few extra clouds Tuesday through Wednesday. I think Wednesday could see some low 60s and then towards the end of the week, partly sunny skies, maybe a shower moving in by Friday or Saturday, but that is very iffy at this point. Overall, that forecast is a dry one as we look across the next seven days. You can always get more updates on our website at WPRI.com. And I do not know if you noticed that, Kate, one of the forecast graphics yeah. said excellent, excellent for the forecast. If anyone were to make that pun, I would think it were you, so. You know, and I, I don't want to plagiarize. I want to give TJ Del Santo credit. He had that in the graphic from last night and I borrowed it because I thought it was very appropriate today. There's no better way to say that today it will be excellent. Exactly. I thought it was very appropriate. <laughs> it is. Thanks. Yep. All right. And